Hello, welcome to the Code Rx blog and podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, this podcast and blog is hosted by Creative Designs by CCW, a full service web design, social media, and SEO company. Now, my name is Candy, and I'm going to be your host for today's episode. Now, for today, we have what we think will be an exciting topic and agenda, because we're going to dive deep into the Python programming language. Now, Python is a programming language that lets you work quickly to integrate your systems more effectively, and we're going to share an overview about this language with you today and we hope that you'll stay tuned we hope that you'll learn something and at the end that you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable about python and its usage python has gained immense popularity in recent years now not only as a general purpose programming language but also as a powerful tool for web development so what exactly is python Python programming refers to the process of writing, testing, and maintaining code in the Python programming language. Now, Python is a high-level, versatile programming language, and it's known for its simplicity, readability, and the fact that it supports multiple programming paradigms, including procedural, object-oriented, and functional programming. Now, some of the key features uh, would be readability. Python syntax is designed to be clear and readable, making it easy for developers to write and maintain code. Python is a general purpose language, um, and it can be used for a wide range of applications, including web development, data analysis, artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, and more. Python has a rich set of standard libraries that provide pre-built modules and functions for various tasks, reducing the need for developers to write code from, uh, from scratch. Python also has a large and active community of developers, which means there's a wealth of resources, documentation, and third-party packages available. Now, Python is an interpreted language, meaning that the code can be executed directly without the need for compilation. Now, this allows for quick development and testing. Python is also cross-platform, which means that Python code can run on different operating systems without modification. Now, Python is widely used in various industries, and it really is the popular choice for beginners due to its simplicity and readability. And it has gained popularity in fields such as web development, data science, machine learning, and more. Now, to get started with Python, you can visit python.org. There you can read more about the documentation. You can visit the community, uh, stay up to date on any news about the programming language. And you can also download uh, source code uh, installers um, for, for all versions, really. And the latest version right now, uh, at least at this recording, is Python 3.12.1. Now let's talk about uh, Python when it comes to Python and its usage in web development. Now as a web development and SEO company, this is where we really find Python programming and the, and the Python programming language uh, to be a benefit. So first and foremost, we have web frameworks. Now these are the building blocks that simplify web de- the web development process by providing a structure for your code. Now, Django and Flask are two of the most popular Python web frameworks. Django, uh, first of all, is a high-level, batteries-included framework that follows the don't-repeat-yourself or DRY principle. 
Flask, on the other hand, is a lightweight and flexible uh, micro framework that gives developers more freedom to choose their components. Now, next up, we have templating engines. Now, these engines allow web developers to uh, embed dynamic content into HTML, which is the primary language used for developing websites, making it easier to generate dynamic web pages. Now, Jinja 2 is a widely used templating engine in the Python web development world because it's intuitive, easy to use, and seamless, and it also integrates uh, with Flask. But now, some others that are used uh, would be Handlebars, which is commonly used in JavaScript applications. Then there's Twig, which is used with Symfony Framework and PHP. And then Mustache, a logic-less templating engine that can be used in various programming languages. So again, these engines play a crucial role in building dynamic and interactive web applications by simplifying the process of handling and rendering dynamic data. Another crucial aspect of web development is database integration. So Python supports a variety of databases, including uh, relational databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, as well as NoSQL databases like um, MongoDB or um, ORM, which is Object Relational Mapping, or even tools like uh, SQL Alchemy, which makes it easier for develop, uh, developers to interact with databases when using Python. All right, now moving on to the front end. Um, front end uh, development often involves using JavaScript frameworks like React or Vue.js. And when you combine these frameworks with Python on the back end, it enables developers to create dynamic and responsive user interfaces. Now, a brief bit about Vue.js. If you haven't heard of it, it is a newish progressive uh, JavaScript framework and it's used for building user interfaces. Now, it's referred to as a front-end framework usually because it is designed, as I said, to be used in development of web applications specifically for creating dynamic and inter interactive user interfaces. Now, Vue is reactive, which means it efficiently updates and renders components when data changes. Now, a few of the benefits and key features, uh, one would be declarative rendering, component-based architecture, uh, two-way data binding, directives. Uh, Vue.js uses directives to extend HTML with additional functionality. Uh, reactivity. Vue provides a reactivity uh, system that ensures efficient updates when data changes, and that really helps in building responsive and dynamic user interfaces. Um, Vue's command line interface, or CLI, is a set of tools uh, for rapid development uh, deployment that includes project scaffolding, managing dependencies, and building for production. So overall, Vue.js is known for its simplicity, ease of integration, and uh, it, it's known for having a gentle learning curve, making it a popular choice among developers for building modern and dynamic web applications. So one other notable advantage uh, when working with Python is its strong community support. The Python community is known for its collaboration and there is a wealth of documentation, tutorials, and open source projects available. Um, and I'll link a few of those, uh, some of the better tutorials and some of the other documentation in my description box of this video. Now, that makes it easier for developers to learn, share knowledge, and contribute to the ever-evolving world of Python uh, in the Python programming language.
Now, also, before we wrap up today's episode, I wanted to touch briefly on deployment. Python web applications can be deployed using various uh, hosting services, including uh, uh, cloud platforms like AWS, Heroku, uh, Python Anywhere, Now, these services provide scalable solutions, ensuring that your web application can handle varying uh, levels of traffic. And again, I think I may have mentioned it earlier, but if I didn't, uh, go to python.org. That's where you can download download, source code and installers and get started, Uh, especially if you're new to programming or new to Python. or or whether you're, even if you're an experienced developer, they've got a great uh, beginner's guide um, that you can also download documents. You can download, uh, there you can visit their uh, community, view some success stories. Um, We really think you'll enjoy it. Again, that's python.org. And uh, again, just to repeat, another site that you can go to Uh, where if you need a full step-by-step tutorial with the free code, uh, the freecodecamp.org. They also have a YouTube channel and I'll make sure to link uh, their site and their YouTube channel in the description box. Now you can also visit our blog, which is blog.creativedesignsbyccw.com. There you'll find some informative articles that may also help you get started as you begin to learn Python. So again, that concludes today's episode of the Code RX blog and podcast. Now, I truly hope that you gained some valuable insights into the fascinating world of the Python programming language. Now, whether you're a seasoned developer or you're just looking to start your coding journey, Python offers a versatile and powerful toolkit for creating web applications, and we hope that we've given you a little bit of information that can help you get started. Now, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you'll do that. Again, go and visit our blog. I've mentioned the site a couple times. I'll link that site down in the description box. And um, again, don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we hope you'll come back uh, next time. And until then, happy coding. Thank you for listening to the CodeRx blog and podcast.